let's move on to the next topic proportion so what is proportion proportion is if two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion if two ratios are equal then they are in proportion let's find out with an example here is the question are the ratio 35 gram is to 30 gram and 40 kilo is to 40 kilo in proportion so we have to find out is the ratio and this ratio are equal so how can we find out we have to find the lowest form of this ratio what we find lowest form both of we have to find the lowest form so 25 gram is to 30 gram know that the their units should be same so 25 gram is to 30 gram so 25 by 30 divided 5 is 25 5 is 30 so 5 by 6 its lowest form is 5 is to 6 okay now 40 kg is to 48 kg 40 divided by 48 you can write 40 divided by 40 because we are same okay so evaluating this uh, 2 to the 8 2 to the 4 0 2 to the 4 2 to the 8 2 1 the 2 2 1 the 2 2 to the 4 2 5 the 10 2 6 the 12 so 5 by 6 which is equal to 5 is to 6 are the ratios equal yeah the ratios are equal so therefore ratio 25 gram is to 30 gram and 40 kg is to 48 kg are in proportion so what is proportion if two ratios are equal we said that they are in proportion here there are two ratios but they are not equal by looking at the question so we have to find the lowest form okay after finding the lowest form we can get is that ratios are equal or not if the ratios are equal then we have to write this way and we can also denote like this 25 gram is to 30 gram double colon 40 gram sorry 40 kilo is to 48 kilo this symbol means they are in proportion also we can write this way 25 gram is to 30 gram equals to 40 kg is to 48 kg okay here this equal means also proportion they are in equal proportion okay so remember these two symbols so the symbols to represent proportion is double column column or equal to sign okay if this is in the question you should not be confused it is a proportion symbol all right now moving on to the next problem are 3 10 15 and 50 are in proportion here we don't have directly given the ratios now we have to find it so first write the values 3 10 15 and 50 right the given values are 3 10 15 and 50 now pair them first we take 3 and 10 and then 15 and 50 okay now consider this as a ratio and this is as a one ratio so 3 is to 10 is equal to 3 by 10 which is in the lowest form we cannot divide any number by these two so it is 3 is to 10 next 15 is to 50 okay 15 is to 50 is divided by 15 by 50 divide them by 3 or divide by 5 5 is 15 5 tens of 50 which is 3 by 10 is equal to 3 is to 10 so 3 is to 10 has a ratio 3 is to 10 and 15 is to 50 has a ratio 
raised to 10. So the ratios are totally equal. Therefore, 3, 10, therefore 3, 10, 50 and 50 are in proportion. They are in proportion because they have equal ratios. So now if we change this 50 into 30. So what about this? Let's find out. We have 3, 10, 50 and 30, right? So 30. First take these two and then 15 and 30. So 3 is to 10 is equal to 3 by 10. This is also 3 is to 10. Then 15 is to 30. 15 is to 30. 15 by 30. Can we divide? Yeah, 5 is 15. 5 is 30, which is equal to 3 is to 6. Are the ratios the same? No, they are totally different. Therefore, 3, 10, 15, and 30 are not in proportion. So, in the same problem, we have seen if the number is changing, then the proportion is also changing. They are not equal and we can say 3, 10, 15 and 30 are not in proportion. This is how we solve. If we have to check the proportion, then we can write 3, 10, 15 and 30. If their ratios are equal, we can say they are in proportion. If their ratios are not equal, then they are not in proportion. Okay. Now, move on to the next question. Do the ratio 15 centimeter to 2 meter and set seconds to 3 minute form a proportion. So we have two ratios, right? 15 centimeter to 2 meter and 10 seconds to 3 minute. So we can see that the ratio, the units are not same. And here also the units are. First, we have to solve that. Okay. So first we take 15 centimeter to 2 meter. Now we have to make sure that the unit are unit should be same. So how we can convert this meter to centimeter? We know that one meter equals to hundred centimeter, right? So two meter is equals to two hundred centimeter. Now we have to find fifteen centimeter to two hundred centimeter. Now the units are equal. Therefore, ratio of fifteen centimeter to two meter is equal to 15 as it is 2 meter change to 200 centimeters and solving this 5 to the 15 5 to 20 which is 3 is to 40 okay this is the ratio of 15 centimeter to 2 meter now we have to find out 10 seconds to 3 minutes so 10 seconds to 3 minutes we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds right 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now, what would be 3 minutes? 3 minutes is equal to 60. 60 into 3. That is 180 seconds. Okay. So, 3 minutes is equal to 180 seconds. Now, we have to find 10 seconds to 180 seconds. Therefore, ratio of 10 seconds to 3 minutes is equals to 10 seconds 10 that is as it is 3 minute converts to 180 seconds that is this is record 1 by 80 which is 1 is to 80 so are the ratios are same no they are totally different so therefore the ratio of 15 centimeter to 2 meter and 10 seconds to 3 minutes are not in proportion. Are not in proportion. Why it is not in proportion? Because their ratios are entirely different. Okay, I hope you got how to solve the world problems like this. Now, proportion has a subtopic that is middle term and extreme term. What is middle term and extreme term in the case of proportion? The, for example, 3 is to 10 is proportion to 
uh, I guess uh, 50 is to 50, right? They are in totally proportion because 5 3 is 15, 5 10 is 50. So uh, they have equal ratios. Now, 3 is to 10 is equal to 15 is to 50. Then the center part that is 3 and 15 are middle term. Okay. 10 and 50 are middle term and 3 and 50 are extreme term. Okay. 3 and 50 are extreme term. Just you have to think if they are an equal, the center part is a middle term and the outside of the center part they are extreme term. So simple, right? So for example, find the middle term and extreme term of um, 2 is to 10 such so uh, equals to 2 goes like 4, 8 is to 40. Are the ratios are equal? Definitely, it is equal. It is shown that it is equal. So the middle term is middle terms are middle terms are ten and eight, ten and eight, and the extreme terms are extreme terms are two and forty, two forty. Okay, two and forty. This is how we find the middle term and extreme term. In the case of proportion, move on to the next question. Determine if the following ratio are in proportion. Also, write the middle term and extreme term where the ratio are in proportion. These are the two questions. So, we have to find first they are in proportion or not. Then, if they are in proportion, we have to write the middle term and extreme term separately. Okay, let's start with the part. We have 25 centimeter to 1 meter. Where the units are different. So we have to make sure first we have to convert this into centimeter, then we have to find the ratio, and then we have to find the ratio of this. Here we can see the units are same. So you don't want we don't have to convert anything. Now we have to convert this. So 25 centimeter is to 1 meter. That is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, right? So ratio of 25 centimeter to 1 meter equals to 25 by 100 I hope you got how it is 100 right so 5 5 is 25 5 is 10 0 5 is 5 5 is 20 that is 1 by 4 equals to 1 is to 4 now the second part rupees 40 is to rupees 160, right? Then we don't have to change any unit, they have same unit. So, equals to 40 by 160 equals to 4 and 4, 4 by 16, 1 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 4. Here, the ratios are equal, right? So, they are in proportion. Therefore, 25 cm 1 meter is equals to rupees 40 is to rupees 160. Now, what is the middle term? Now, middle term, middle term, terms are, what are the middle terms here? The closer to the equal part, that is inside to the equal, that is 1 and 40. Middle terms are 1 and 40. And what is extreme terms here? Extreme terms are 25 and 160. 25 and 160. Okay, this is how we find. First, we have to evaluate it. Then, we have to find are they proportion or if they are in proportion, we have to find a middle term that is inside the term of the equal side. The closer to the equal is the middle term, and rest the two numbers are. The extreme terms. Now the B part. Here 
this is given 2 kg is to 80 kg, right? Units are same, so directly we can find 2 by 80, 2 is a 2, 2 is a 8, 0, 1 by 40, which is equal to 1 is to 40. Now, second, 25 gram is to 625 grams. Here also the units are same, so 25 gram divided by 625 gram. 25 ones are 25, 25 are so 1 by 25, which is equal to 1 is to 25. Are they in proportion? No, they are not in proportion. So we have to find the middle term extension. So the answer is only this much. You can also write this way, right? We can write they are not equal. So we can write 2 kg is to 80 kg is not equal to 25 gram. 20 gram time is to 625. Okay, they are not in proportion because their ratios are entirely different. Students, we know what is ratio. We have solved many problems on the topic of ratio. Now we know proportion and we have solved many problems in the proportion. Now the third topic is unitary method. So what is unitary method? The method in which first we find the value of one unit and then the value of required unit is known as unitary method. So first we solve this question, then I repeat this so that you can understand it. Now the question is, if the cost of 6 can of juice is 210, then what would be the cost of 4 can of juice? So we know that 6 cans of juice, that is cost of 6 cans of juice is rupees 210, right? Now we, find, we have to find 4 cans of juice. What is the cost of 4 cans of juice? But first we have to know what is the rate of 1 can of juice. So finding that cost of 1 can of juice. How we can find 1 can of juice? By dividing 2 by 10 by 6. We know that if 1 chocolate is of rupees 5. Okay, 1 chocolate is of rupees 5. If you buy 2 chocolates, it becomes 10. Right? If we ask directly opposite, that is 2 chocolate is of rupees 10. Then 1 chocolate is of rupees 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5. Right? So how we find the cost of 1 chocolate? By dividing 10 by 2. So that we can know 5. Okay. The same way we are doing this. If 6 can is of rupees 210, then 1 can is equal to rupees 210 divided by 6. That is 2 3 is 6, 3 to sorry, 2 by 6, 2 1 is 2, 0, 2 5 is 10, 3 1 is 3, 3 is 9, 3 is 15. That is rupees 35. That means 1 can cost of 1 can of juice of juice is equal to rupees. 35. Okay. If one can of juice is 35, can we find four can of juice? Cost of four can of juice would be cost of four can of juice would be 4 into rupees 35. Okay. If one chocolate is of rupees 5, then two chocolate would be 5 into 2, right? That is 10. Correct. So the same way we are doing this, cost of 4 cans of juice is equal to 4 into 1 can of juice. So we get 4 is 20, 4 is 12, 13, 40, 140. Okay. Cost of 4 can is 140 rupees. Now, we got the amount of 4 cans of juice 140. Now, the same way, this is the unity method. Now we write this. The method in which we first we find well, first we find the value of one unit. First we find the value of one unit, right? The only one can, the rate of one can. Then the value of required unit. Then we find out the value of required unit. This method is known as unity method. Okay. First we know six can cost us two ten rupees and four cans we have to find out. So First, we took the same 6 cans is equal to rupees 210. Now, how to find 1 can, cost of 1 can? 
dividing this 210 by 6. So we got 35. Then one can of juice costs 35 rupees. Then to find out the four cans of juice, we simply multiply this 35 into 4, we got 140 rupees. So the cost of four cans is 140. This method is known as unitary method. The method in which first we find the value of 1 and then the required unit, it is known as unitary method. Let us see the next question based on unitary method. Now, cost of 105 envelopes, 105 envelope is 350 rupees. How many envelopes can we purchase for this hundred? So, in 350 rupees, let's sign down. In rupees 350, we get 105 envelopes. Right? We get 105 envelopes. So, we have to find out in 100 rupees how much we get. So, first we have to know in 1 rupees how many envelopes we would get. So, in rupees 1, we get 105 by 350. Rupees 350, we get 105 in real. So, 1 in rupees 1, we get 105 divided by 350. Now, solving it, 5 twos are 10, 5 ones are 5, 5 sevens are 5, 0. 21 by 70. Leonard 70. Now, can we solve this? No. So, place this value in the same way. Now, so we have to find, we got in 1 rupees, we get 21 by 70 envelopes. So how in so we have to find out in rupees hundred how much envelope we will get. So in rupees hundred we get two one seventy envelopes into hundred. Right. In one rupee we get twenty one by seventy envelopes. Then in hundred rupees we would multiply this one envelope into hundred. So solving this we get. Which is equal to 30 envelopes. Okay, we get 30 envelopes. Therefore, rupees 100, we would get 30 envelopes. So, first we, we have used the unitary method. First, we have to write the same way. In rupees 360, we get 105 envelopes. Then we have to find it out in how much envelopes we would get in one rupee. Then in one rupee we get 21 by 70 envelopes. Then in 100, how much we get? In 100 equals to multiplying the single unit by 100, we get 30 envelopes. Okay, the answer is 30 envelopes. I hope these type of questions are coming in the unity method. So you should be very careful by solving this. Now move on to the next question. A car travels 90 km in two and a half hours. First we have to find how much time is required to cover 30 km with the same speed and find the distance covered by a car in two hours with the same speed. So here the speed is constant. We have the variation in kilometer that is distance and in time. So let us find out the solution. A part. Now we have the car travels 90 km in 2 and a half hours. First we solve this one. We cannot find anything in the form of this form. So 2 by 1 by 2 equals 2. 2 to the 4, 5 by 2. 2 to the 4 plus 1 equals to 5 and kilometer 2. So 5 by 2 hours. Okay. 5 by 2 hours. So 5 by 2 hours means how many minutes? So we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Right? So 5 by 2 hour is equal to 60 into 5 by 2, which is equal to 60. 150 minutes. 
Now it's easy to solve because it has a single value because if the year there was a fraction. Now, how much time is required to cover 30 km with the same speed? We have the car travels, car travels 90 km in 150 minutes. We know that two and a half, that means five by two hours. Five by two hours means 150 minutes in 150 minutes. Why? In one minute. So what about in one kilometer? Here we use unity method. Okay. So in one kilometer, it takes how much time? So car travels one kilometer in 150 by 90. This is equal to 350, 309, that is 5 by 3 minute. Okay. 5 by 3 minute. So in 1 km, so the car travels 1 kilometer in 5 by 3 minute. Now we have to find how much time it take to cover 30 km. So car travels the time required, sorry, time required to cover 30 km is we can say 1 km it takes 5 by 3 minute so 30 km takes 5 by 3 into 30 ok so we write yes 5 by 3 into 30 this all is and this one is 50 minutes ok the time required to cover 30 km with the same speed see speed is constant here so we have to only check out on distance and time. So the time required to cover 30 km is 50 minutes. I repeat once again. First we converted this in the fraction and then this hour into minute. Okay. In hour into minute. Then we know that 90 km takes 150 minutes. So what about 1 km? Dividing 150 by 90 we get 1 km it travels 5 by 3 minutes okay then multiplying this 1 by 5 5 by 3 into 30 we get the time required to cover 30 kilometers okay which is 50 minutes now now we solve this what about this one find the distance covered by a car in 2 hours with the same speed so, distance covered by 2 hours in the same speed. Here we know that 2, 1 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 hours. Here we have to find the unit in hours. So, we don't have to change it in minute now. So, 5 by 2 hours. Okay. Now, car travels in 5 by 2 hours is equal as to 90 km right in 2 1 by 2 hours it travels 90 km that means car travels 5 by 2 hours in 90 km 5 by 2 hours we go through this okay then what about car traveled in 1 hour is equal as to now you can see 5 by 2 it covers 90 km so what about 1 hour, it should be divided, so 90 divided by 5 by 2, so the 2 comes front for, uh, in the numerator and 5 it becomes denominator, so 90 into 2 by 5, okay, 90 divided by 5 by 2, it becomes totally different and we should do multiply, we cannot divide directly like this, we have to change into form of multiplication. While doing in the multiplication, the denominator comes in the numerator and the de numerator becomes denominator. Okay? This is the method to solve the problems like this. Now, we have to write this here. Therefore, in 1 hour, 90 into 2 by 5 which is equal to 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 is a 40. That is 
So here we took first 2 1 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 hours. We don't have to change it in minutes because we have to find it in the hour only. So car travels in 5 by 2 hours is equal to 90 km. Since my question. Then we have to find it 1 hour how much it travels. So car travels in 1 hour is equal to in 5 by 2 it travels 90 km. So 1, 1 hour 90 by 5 by 2. 5 by 2 converts into multiplication and we put denominator as a numerator and numerator as a denominator. So we have to find out the value of this. We put the value here. So 90 into 2 by 5. Solving this we get 36. That is in 1 hour it travels 36 km. Car travels in 2 hours that is 36 into 2 which is equal to 72 km. I hope you got a complete idea what is inventory method and how to solve the problems like this. Students, I hope you got a complete idea of this chapter that is ratio proportion. Here we have solved first ratio, then we solve the examples on ratio, then proportion, we solve the examples on proportion, and finally unitary method. We solved just now. So thank you and have a nice day.